How do you set an alert in Thinkorswim that lets you know when it's time to get out of a trade? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Hi there, this is Neil again with Option Theory, and welcome back to another one of our how to videos. In this particular video, we're looking to see how to use Thinkorswim to set profit and loss alerts. Okay, so we're going to hop right into that platform and show you exactly how to do that. So let's just pretend the scenario is you just put on a trade and you want to know when that trade reaches your profit or loss target, right? So here it is in my filled orders. This came from our cherry bomb trade. Uh, if you haven't joined our cherry bomb squad, uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. We'd love to have you. Um, and what we'll do now is right click in this filled orders section. We want to choose create an alert. We can see here that it's with the Costco symbol. Of course, this will be whatever symbol your trade is. It was a vertical and you know, it was it filled at 275 and I want to know when it reaches 50% of the maximum profit. So let me bring up a calculator here just so that I can show you how I would calculate this type of a thing, right? So it's a $5 wide spread. If we take $5 and we subtract 275 from that, we get $2.25, right? Let's take 50% of that profit. And we have $1.12. We add that back to the 275. That is the alert number that I want to set. So I want to know when this trade, which at the time of placing it was worth 275, when it's worth $3.87. That will be 50% 50 of my maximum profit, which is my profit target. So let's go back to Thinkorswim. I want to set this to three eighty-seven. Okay. With that set, we can see here, we'll go down. I can leave myself a note. 50% profit target reached. And give yourself all sorts of fun things, maybe an emoji, right? All right, let's scroll down here. This is showing you the price history for this particular vertical spread. It, of course, will be whatever you traded over time and the volume for this trade. Now, I'm going to collapse this preview and choose Notify with Sound and Mobile. Here, you can choose what particular sound effect that you'd like. This is the standard one, which I don't think you're going to actually hear because I don't know it's capturing my computer audio, but you have a few options. Of course, you can even have your own custom sound. That's fun. And if you use the Thinkorswim mobile app, you can choose to also receive a notification there. I do appreciate that option. And yeah, these are options that I'm not too worried about. That's fine. And then going down to other options that we have available to us. Do I want to submit it right away? Do I want to schedule this alert to be submitted? Do I want it to expire at a specific time? And none of this is particularly interesting to me, but it might be for you. So I wanted you to see that you you to see that you had this as an option. If you want to go be taken to your alert book to see all of your alerts, you can check this box and then hit create. I'm not going to. I just will know that it's there, but I want to also show you how to get to it too. So if we go to the create, it's going to set the alert, but you're not going to see any sort of indication that that is uh, done. So what we want to do is go over to see where it says market watch and we see alerts here. That's we're going to be where you see your alerts. So you can see I already had one. I canceled it. Uh, this is the second time I'm recording this video. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So that is how you set a profit target alert using Think or Swim. If you'd like to see more tips on alerts, leave a comment below. I'd be happy to make one if you are interested. So that's it for now. And if you like this kind of stuff, I would encourage you, please hit that subscribe button and tap that bell to be notified when I release videos. Mm -hmm.